Hi folks, Yachtsman1 here again with tutorial 8 on creating a basic show in Pictures to 8.0.1 This is part 2 of creating a basic show and here we're going to add audio As you can see there are a number of changes since last time As you heard we now have music so first we will add a music track. Highlighting the first blank slide, going to project options, here you will see the audio file that you heard at the start of the show. So we're going to delete that and show you how to add it. Simply click on the audio file button, which will then open the music folder that I've got inside the main folder for the show and here we've got the music file called Welsh Tune it's an mp3 and it's 4.76 megabytes and two point sorry two minutes 59 seconds long so it's almost three minutes so we'll click on it and click open right now you see it in the blue box there Welsh Tune mp3 2 minutes 59 seconds and we want to link this to slide 1 so tick that box click OK just try a bit in the mini player to make sure it's gone in right that's successful we've added an audio file to the show to look at that audio file and we click on the button over to the far right timeline Right, now you can see a representation of the audio waveform that comprises the MP3 file. Customise this waveform to suit what I want. Basically, this is the compact view of the waveform. So, I'll just show you the other version. Go up to Settings, Preferences, Timeline. Here you see compact view of mixed channels. Just drop that down and click on mixed channels. Click OK and that's the other view. Now I've specifically set this one to the compact view to give me more adjustment when I coordinate the slides with the peaks in the waveform. Go back again and change that to what I want go to mix channels compact view click OK and we're back to the compact view of the channels right the music starts off with its own level which is lower than uh, the rest of the tune so it has a, a natural fade in but to create your own fade in decide where we want it I want this fade in to be about seven seconds so just go down on the timeline like that which will project a line down and click on the orange timeline and it's left a blue dot when you get the default version of pictures to XE8 you will need to set things like the colors of the time points on the timeline so I'll just show you again how to do that Right, settings, preferences, timeline, key point, click on key point and then click on the colour palette, say I wanted it to be a colour, click on that, click OK, click OK and it's changed colour from the blue, with my eyesight I can't see very well, so we'll just change that back again, settings, preferences, timeline key point color palette blue okay sorry okay okay right now there we've got our blue time point so each time point that you add to this audio track now is going to be blue and in my with my eyes easy to see so now I'm going to click as far as I can into the left hand side of the timeline and drag it down. Drag it down as far as you can and there you've got a seven second fade into the music. 
So we'll just uh, play that now. I'm going to drag this pointer back to the start and click on the mini player. There you are, you've got a fade in. As well as that, you'll need a fade out. Now as this track is much longer than our slide list, we're going to have to either reduce the length of this track, which is not a, a subject for this particular tutorial. So as a, a workaround, so that you don't have to reduce the length of the track that you've chosen, we're going to do a fade out. So the fade out needs to coincide with just before the end of the last black slide. So click on there, click on there. Right now we need to determine how long we want the fade out to be. So if we say seven seconds, because this is the end, we'll make it a little bit longer. So we're going to click there. Again, drag it down as far as it'll go. And there you have it. You've got a fade out. So we'll just demonstrate that. Bring that back to here. There we had a quite pleasing fade out. Now I made sure that was just in front of one of the peaks so that it didn't sound unnatural when the music stopped. Right, we'll show you one more thing now before we close this particular tutorial. It's always nice to be able to coordinate the appearance of the slide with the peaks in the waveform of the music and it gives a, a more pleasing effect to your show. So I'll just show you how to do that. Click on this little flag above the slide here and that projects a blue line down and if you line that up with the peak that slide will start to appear where that peak is. We'll just do the lot. We've got a peak there so then the next one the largest peak is behind so what I'm going to do is actually click on the slide and that pushes the other slides down using the times that you've already set into them right that's that one now that slide isn't going to be on screen long so we'll click on the little flag again and take that down to there and that's automatically set that onto that peak now again we've got a large peak there which will align the slide to appear when that peak occurs in the waveform. There's that one. We'll bring this one forward a bit. Right, that's about halfway so we'll take it back to that one. And then the picture of Mr. Grumpy. Right, you don't want to see him for very long, so we'll bring this one forward. Take that one to there, because we're getting near the end now. This particular one's got a, a fade out on it that uh, I want to retain. So what I'm going to do is click on the flag, take that one back to there. Right, and we'll align that with that one. Okay, so now you see that your slide list has gone past your fade out. So what you can do is to drag that one along so that it could coincide with just before the end of the slide which is there align it with that 
get hold of the other one and bring that along until you've got the same length of fade that you had before. Right, that's it for this tutorial. The next one, we're going to add the twiddly bits that uh, you've seen on here, such as the text and a basic animation. So we'll finish the show in the usual way.